you work with people in different time zones, you know how difficult they can be to set appointments. Fantastical goes out of its way to make this job easier. I've got an event here for 10 o'clock California time for a logo design meeting. But let's say I've got a friend in Vienna and I want her also on the call. So I need to make sure we can pick a time that works for her as well. If I hit show time zones, then it shows me the time in Vienna for that 10 o'clock LA meeting. So 10 o'clock in Los Angeles is 7 p.m. in Vienna. You can see I also have London. These are what Fantastic Al calls favorite time zones, and I've got two of them selected, but you can have more if you want. To do that, we're going to back out of the event and go in settings. Then I'm gonna scroll down in this list and you'll see there's an entry for time zones. I'll go ahead and tap on that. And you can see there are my favorite time zones, Los Angeles, London, and Vienna. But let's say I have a friend that's in Memphis, Tennessee. So I'll type in Memphis and it'll show up. And now I've got Memphis added to my favorite time zones. So if I go back to that appointment, you'll see that I get the time in Memphis as well as London and Vienna. This is a super useful feature. When you're setting appointments with people that are routinely in specific time zones, all you have to do is tap this one button and you can see what time your proposed meeting is wherever they're at. That's just one of the ways that Fantastical helps you out with time zones. Let me show you a few more. Now I'm back on the Mac with Fantastical and I've got the week view up for me. If you look down the left side of the column, it's got the current time wherever I'm located. But if you look on the right side, it's got a separate timeline there. Now by default, that's going to be set for the current time. So I've got 6 a.m. all the way across. But once again, let's say I'm working with somebody in a different time zone. I can just tap on the little arrow next to it and I can change it to different time zones if I want. For instance, if I wanna to go to Australia, we can see what time it is there in Sydney. If I want to go to uh, Memphis again, I'll just click other. I'll type in the city name. And now that's uh, central time. So I've got central time displayed there for me. Now, this is a really great feature. It's not just available in the week view. It's also available in the day view, which is really convenient. Like I said, when you're setting appointments to make sure it's an acceptable time for everybody on the call. Now going up to that option one more time, if you find this gets too full of time zones that you're not using anymore, just tap on the clear menu and then that clears it out for you. Now I've just got central and Pacific time. I can add new ones again if I want. I'll go back to Vienna, Austria, and now I've added that to the list as well. If you don't intend to use this feature, you can go to the settings for Fantastic Al and that I'm gonna hit command comma to bring those up. And then we can go to the advanced tab and you can say show second timeline in day and week view. If I click that, it turns it off. But I like that feature, so I'm gonna turn it right back on. There's one more bit of time zone cleverness I wanna show you with Fantastical. I've gone back to the iPhone, and now that we've seen two timelines on the Mac, what about on the iPhone and the iPad? You can enable that. Just go to the settings, and then go down to the time zone support again. And you'll see there's a line there, show second timeline. If I tap on that and back out of the settings, you'll see now we have two timelines. And if I tap at the top of the second one, I can change that. I'll go back to Vienna again. And now I've got two timelines on my daily calendar. And just like on the Mac, that also works on the week calendar. There's one more setting relating to time zones you wanna be aware of. So I'm gonna go back to settings and down to time zone support time zone override. So normally the behavior would be that it gives you the time zone of wherever you're at. So if you set an appointment in Los Angeles and then you go to New York, the time zones are gonna to change to New York and the appointments will relatively change. If you wanna lock your appointments into a certain time zone, maybe you're from Los Angeles, but you're only in New York for a few hours and you don't want your appointments to get screwed up, you just hit time zone override and then you can pick the time zone you want for the override and uh, it will stick to that as the time zone. It will not adjust when you move. That's something frequent travelers are going to like. When it comes to supporting multiple timelines, Fantastical is there for you.